Well guys, you ready to paint a few fishing lures? Made a few changes to this area since the last time I've sat here and done a video, but set it up for all my painting, stuff I want to do. It's kind of crowded now, but I'm just starting, so we'll get her straightened out. I'm not going to take a lot of time on this, but I did want to mention I picked up the airbrush kit. Now this is the one I purchased. It's the Master Airbrush Kit. I found it on Amazon uh, for $79. I looked around at quite a few places. That was the cheapest I found it. I'll put a link down in the description to it. I did go to Harbor Freight. They carried a system too for maybe about $10 more. But this is what I picked up on Amazon. Uh, it's got a gravity fed uh, dual control airbrush. I will tell you compressor wise I don't think there's going to be a lot of difference in what you find in airbrush compressors. Uh, the key comes down to the the airbrush itself and it's this one's pretty cheap and then they'll tell you right up front other guys I've looked at this is not a very high priced uh, airbrush. It works and it's really done a decent job I guess considering the low cost. Down the line I'll probably pick up a better one down the line but for now uh, this is going to get me by it gets you started. For 79 bucks, you got everything you need to get going. On paint, I've been doing the paints mostly at Hobby Lobby. I've been using uh, Createx uh, design for, for airbrush uh, use. I started with the opaques. Uh, I ended up now, I've started to pick up some of the transparents and started messing with that. I have purchased some paints at Walmart. Now, this stuff's cheap, 50 cents a bottle, a lot cheaper. Came in a lot of colors that I wasn't finding uh, you know, at my local Hobby Lobby. The key to this is the pigments in the paint, because it's a craft paint, it's not meant for an airbrush. The pigments are a little bigger, so sometimes you have to use more pressure, you can have problems with it plugging up, and I mean the paint, it'll work through an airbrush, but it's not designed. So just, if you see me using this, and hey it's 50 cents a bottle, I can get it cheap, yeah, you can, but you really need to thin this stuff down a lot, and you can still have a problem once in a while with it. The opaque colors, you'll probably have to thin them down a little bit too, except for the black. The transparents seem to be pretty thin. I haven't had to do much in the way of, of thinning those down, so that's more stuff you can get into later. I don't want to take a lot of time now. Right now, let's go paint some lures. All right, we're going to do two lures at the same time. I've got them up here. The bills are taped up, and I put a base coat of uh, opaque white on here first. We got that on, so we'll be ready to go. We're going to do two, and we're going to do two basics that I really like. They're going to be very easy to do, and these are two that I really like. I love a, a black and chartreuse. This one happens to be Bass Pro Shops version, and... I had a blue and chartreuse similar to this. It was a Rick Clung. Lost it. Uh, couldn't find one the same size again. So what I ended up coming up with was a Bass Pro Shop blue and chartreuse. Now that's the right size. It gives me the right depth. But I didn't like the color. So what we're going to do is this one right here is perfectly the same size, shape, and should give me the depth. We're just going to make it the color we like. So, blue and chartreuse, black and chartreuse, let's get them started. Now, for what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to use transparent colors to give a little bit brighter appearance. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to put on a pearl white down here first. You won't see a lot of difference because it's be white over white, but the pearl will show up, and we put the transparents over it it's really going to make a difference. So let's give them a coating, a pearl white coat to begin with. And it's just basically almost like the base coat, nothing fancy, just get them covered. You don't want to get too much on at one time. Better to put on a couple coats if you think you need it, rather than put on one big heavy coat. And what we'll do, because this paint dries with heat. We'll put a coat and we'll dry it. Now in my case, I use a 
heat gun. A lot of people will use a hair dryer. I don't have enough hair to own a hair dryer anymore, so I bought a heat gun. Now, let me show you how I wash my brushes out in between colors. Found this from a guy, basically a squirt bottle. And I squirt it up in there. Put some straight water in. Run the water out through it. A little bit more. I'll take the towel. Just kind of get up in to make sure that the water's out. And there you go. Between colors, that's all it takes. Alright. We have our pearl on. Dried. Now we're going to go ahead and go with our transparent yellow to give us our chartreuse. And we're just going to, I like to hold mine upside down. Just work the belly. I'll probably work it up to the side line on the lure. And then that's all we'll do for that. Or maybe just slightly above it. There's just a little over the top line there and part way up here. Let's let that one go. Let's hit the other one and we'll come back. There we go. They're just like that. I'll put some heat on these and then we'll come back again. Okay, I put a little heat on the dry. I'm going to give them one more quick coat in here. Another just a light. dry these and then we'll be back and get on our next color. Alright, first one, the first one we're going to do here is the chartreuse blue and I'm using a transparent blue. This is the ultramarine blue. This is transparent similar to the, the yellow. So where it overlaps we should see a little color change there because one transparent over another will do that. Let's go. There we go, right down the back. Just going right down and we'll have to do probably a couple. And yeah, that's enough to start. I'm gonna dry this quick. Alright, we'll go back and put a little more on here. got enough blue up in here but around the eye sockets I want to go a little blue around either side of the eye socket for a little bit there around there so let me get just around there just a little bit up under the nose here just a little bit around that eye socket See what we got. There we go. I like that. That's I like that a lot better than that. And this doesn't even have a top coat put on it yet. Once we get a top coat and eyes, it'll be amazing the difference you'll see in those two. But I like that much better. Alright. That's the blue. Let's wash it out quick. On to the black. Black, we're going to use an opaque because I do not have, I haven't got around to buying, oops, getting the wrong one. i get the right one here. There we go. Opaque black. I have not purchased any uh, transparent black yet, so we'll just go with an opaque black on this for the black and chartreuse here. The black opaque seems to be able to. Spray that without thinning too. It's one of the few you can for opaques. Alright, pretty same way right down the back. Let's dry 
that quick. Alright, a little bit on the nose here. Hang on, let me dial the pressure back a little on this thing. A little bit around that eye socket like we did on the other one. I think we're going to call that one good. We dry it again. All right. I kind of like that right there. Again, we'll put a top coat. We'll put eyes in. But that's all it took. We took just a few minutes. We ended up with a blue and chartreuse, black and chartreuse. We'll get some eyes in them now. We'll get a top coat put on them. Let's we'll see where we go from there. Okay, we're ready to put on... We are ready to put on the top coat. Now I went ahead and put the eyes in. I like the red ones, so I've gone with the red eyes. Save us a little time, I went ahead and put the eyes in it. So now let's see about putting the top coat on. This is what it's going to seal it up. Now this is called, I guess, Bob Smith Industries 30 minute slow cured epoxy. This is actually a two part glue, but it dries crystal clear. So. It says you have 30 minutes, but you know what? Boy, I'll tell you what, it's, I don't know. I've tried it a few times and you just barely have 30. So we're not gonna have a lot of time to talk about this once we start mixing things. Basically it's two parts. Put in some of each and I know guys say, oh, well, you gotta measure this stuff out and everything really good. And I suppose it would probably last longer if I took the time to measure it out like I'm supposed to. I do have, I gotta admit, I do have some syringes, and when the bottles were full, that worked out pretty good. I could stick the syringe down in the bottle and uh, just get out what I needed, and that worked pretty good. So, uh, but the bottle's getting kind of empty now, and it doesn't, uh, can't get the syringe all the way down in there. So we're just going to pour some out and do it the hard way. Got to stir it up, get it mixed good, don't get carried away here because you end up just putting a lot of air bubbles. And when we get going here, we're going to move fast. We're not going to waste a lot of time because uh, you sure hate to have it set up on you right in the middle of a lure and you got to throw it away. All right, that's going to be good enough. Let's get going. I got to get two wires out here just so I have them. I'll show you what those are for here in just a minute. I buy just basically cheap throwaway brushes. And we're just going to brush it on. Now they say they want this thing to stay above 70 degrees. And I got to admit, that is a factor. Uh, if it gets much below that, it gets hard to put this stuff on. The key is watching for spots you missed. You'll think you got them all, and you won't have. You'll have missed a spot. So you really got to get it on there quick, but at the same time, look it over good. Hey, while I'm doing this, I want to mention the eyes. The eyes I put in have adhesive on the back that are supposed to stick them on. I take a little drop of super glue or tacky glue or whatever you want. And I put that in the eye socket first and then I go ahead and put the eye in. Uh, that way you get a little bit extra besides that uh, that heat, that sticky that's on there already. Now to back that up, as I'm putting this on, this is going on pretty thick. This goes on fairly thick. I'm going over the eyes with this too. So when this hardens up, remember this is glue. So when this hardens up, there's a coat of this over the glue. All right, real quick here. Wire hook, take the bottom, you stick a wire hook through it. The glue is going to drain down and instead of globbing up in the end, that wire hook, it will stick on that wire hook instead. It will run down that hook and then it won't all glob up on the very tail end of your lure. doesn't take long 
But the same token, you want to be fast about it. It's going to set up pretty quick. It's got that one. It's got a hook hanger. And that's all it does. Make that straight. There we go. We'll hang them up to dry. And we got them. Well, we let that top coat cure overnight. So let's take a look and see what we ended up with. There we go. There is our blue and chartreuse. There's our black and chartreuse. And I'll tell you what, it didn't take a whole lot to do those. I think we ended up with two really nice lures when it's all said and done that are bound to catch some fish. And on top of that, remember that Bass Pro Shop lure that I bought that I showed you earlier? I wasn't real happy with the colors, but it had the shape and the size I wanted. It was the only thing I could come up with. Well, I figured while we got the paint going, let's take that lure and do a little changing to it. So I popped the eyes out of it and uh, put a new paint job on it. So here it is. That's the same thing we had before, only now it's got my paint job on it instead. And uh, I kind of like the looks of that. I think that might catch a few fish too. Well, that's all it takes. We're going to come back and try a few more of these. I've got some crawdad patterns I'm working on, bluegill patterns, stuff like that. So thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.